Good day. In this video, we are going to do question 2B, part 1 and part 2 of the 2022 NCA Level 3 Statistics Paper, Probability Concept. Without further ado, let's read the question. For every 50 first year student at the University of Canterbury, T. Fare Fanga O Waitaha in 2021, nine took courses that did not have final examination. So no exam and exam. So to get 0 0.18 is nine out of 50. So nine out of 50 is equivalent to 0 0.18. So with exam will be 0 0.82 because one minus 0 0.18, 0 0.82. For students who took the courses with exam, 38% attended lectures regularly. So 38% is 0 0.38, attend lectures regularly. Okay. For students who took courses that does not have final exam, 21% attended regularly. So that's 0 0.21. So these two must add up to 1. So that must be 0 0.79 for those who do not attend lecture. And 0 0.38, that must be 0 0.62. This add up to 1. 0 0.62 does not attend lecture regularly. Okay, so let E be the event the students took a course with final examination. So we let represent the E. Okay, and A be the student who attended regularly. So attend regularly represented by A. Okay, so not E is no exam represented with a complement. Not A means A complement, and not A is a not complement. So once we have this three diagram, we can calculate the probability of all this probability. So no exam attend re lecture regularly. You take 0 0.18 times 0 0.21 will give you 0 0.0378. No exam and does not attend lecture. You take 0 0.18 times 0 0.79 will give us 0 0.1422. Similarly, exam attend regularly 0 0.82 multiplied by 0 0.38 will give us 0 0.3116. And have exam and does not attend lecture. Take 0 0.82 times 0 0.62, and the answer is 0 0.5084. Once we have that, we can start to answer the question. One first year student from Canterbury University is selected at random. Calculate the probability that they attended lectures regularly. So it could be here, or it could be here. Okay, so the probability, let me see whether can you see. Okay, we're going to write on the side here. Probability, they attend lectures regularly is just going to be these two numbers adding up together 0 0.0378 and you're going to add up with 0 0.3116 put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 0 0.3494 so if you can answer that that will be a simple achieve in this paper okay now we're going to do part two of the question I'm just going to bring down the question, okay? So part two is that, okay, hopefully you can see from there, okay, we're going to adjust some paper, okay? So I'm going to put the question here. Okay, you either do from the probability tree or you can actually use the table. So all these numbers are put in this table here. E is those who uh, have exam. E1 have no exam. A attended regularly. A prime it does not attend regularly. So all these numbers are put in this box and you can do it on this table. Okay. So the question is, do you believe that P, E and A, P and A is, E is exam and attend regularly. So these two numbers, so that will be 0, that will be 0 0.0378 and not exam and does not attend regularly. So no exam and does not attend regularly, so you're going to take 0 0.18 plus times 0 0.79, which will give you 0 0.1422. That is it equals to 1. So you put your calculator, it's actually equal to 0 0.4538, and that is not equals to 1. If you can answer that, that's a merit. And please note that the answer in the marking schedule, this number is wrong. The answer is still correct, 0 0.4538. The answer in the marking schedule for that paper is wrong. So, but the final answer is correct. So you can answer this. You can prove that this is not equals to one. So that is how you answer question part two and you will get a merit in this paper. Have a go again and see whether you understand this question. And if you can get question 2B 
you'll get a merit in this paper. Cheers, everyone. Have a good day.